God of majesty and mercy, we worship today as the cross looms larger on the horizon. We praise you for Jesus, the ruler who came in humility to free us from captivity. He came in mercy to free us from the sins we recognize in ourselves and the sins that we easily overlook. He came to show us the full extent of your mercy, love, and justice. And so we praise you for your kindness and the strength you show to lift our burdens and shoulder them for us in Christ Jesus. We come in humility, knowing you have given us your all, and we can never offer enough for such overwhelming love. Receive our worship in Christ's name and for his sake. Amen. For today's prayer of confession, we are going to read the Palm Sunday story together. As we read through the story, we will pause to admit the places where we so often and so easily could change the narrative. So read with me, prayerfully, trusting that no matter what we do or don't do, this story ends with love. Let's pray. As they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethpage on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and at once you will find a donkey tied there with her colt by her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, say that the Lord needs them, and he will send them right away. We long to be the ones who can go into the village ahead of you. Forgive us when we play it safe. This took place to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet. Say to daughter Zion, see your king comes to you gentle and riding on a donkey and on a colt, the foal of a donkey. God, forgive us for forgetting that you are always coming toward us. You are drawing near, like a king on a donkey. Help us to find you in our midst. The disciples went and did as Jesus had instructed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and placed their cloaks on them for Jesus to sit on. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the ground, while others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. Creator God, Forgive us for the moments when we choose greed over generosity, or when we choose our self-image over our loyalty to you. Give us the courage to be unabashed in our faith. Give us the strength to throw our coats on the road. The crowds that went ahead of him and those that followed shouted, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. Son of David, give us the conviction to shout your name from the rooftops. Give us the wisdom to sing Hosanna. When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred and asked, Who is this? The crowds answered, This is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. With hope in our hearts, we pray to you, Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. Amen. Family of faith, there will be days when we withhold our praise. There will be days when we dare not follow. There will be days when we ignore God's call, when we choose comfort over courage and ourselves over others. But even on those days, even on our worst days, we belong to God. Hear and believe the good news of the gospel and share it with me. Nothing can separate us from God's love. We are loved, forgiven, and sent out to serve. Hosanna. Amen. Amen. 